Let's take a look at the performance of this 2080Ti with 22GB of modified VRM in this video. As you may know, the purpose of having a large VRM is for running AI-related tasks. Recently, AI painting has gained popularity, which also requires a large VRM. So, I bought the cheapest white-label 2080Ti. Its appearance is very plain. This card has three display ports and an HDMI port. It's not a top-of-the-line card, hence its lower price. After booting up, I successfully recognized the 22GB VRM size in the software, and all the sensors are working fine. The VRM temperature is also displayed. Opening the task manager, I can see that it's indeed 22GB of VRM. Next, I'll start the stable diffusion. I've already set up the configuration. Number 1 is the 3090, and number 2 is the 2080 Ti. This way, I can determine which card is being utilized. The ports are also allocated accordingly. I've copied some prompts from the internet to generate the desired output. Then, I'll deploy the sampling process. It's better to have more batches for statistical analysis. After I generate the results here, I will reset this part and finally see what the average power consumption is. The speed of the 2080T is about 5.35 iterations per second with an average power consumption of around 230 watts. Let's make a note of that and then we can run the 3090. The speed of the 3090 doesn't seem to be much faster than the 2080T. It's only about six iterations per second and still consumes two to 300 watts, which is a lot higher. Let's increase the resolution of the image and see if we can widen the gap. I have now changed the resolution to 1024 by 1280 and we'll run it again. After increasing the resolution, the speed of the 2080T is 1.6 iterations per second with an average power consumption of 239 watts, slightly higher than before. Now let's run the 3090. The power consumption of the 3090 is also higher than before, with an increase of several tens of watts. The speed of the 3090 is 2.15 iterations per second, which is lower than the previous lower resolution, showing a much wider gap. Let's try an even higher resolution and see how it performs. I directly set the resolution to 2048, and the memory usage immediately increased. This demonstrates the advantage of having a larger memory capacity. After running the single image, I will run it again with four images. I have changed the batch size to four, and everything else remains the same, starting from the lowest resolution. The 3090 will be treated the same way.